Hey guys, Smitty here. As far as you know, Raven received an interesting reward in Korean server. Such interesting that I decided to do its review and continue like so for every class reworks in future. Can't say Raven was bad, she was decent in PvP arena and reasonable in mass PvP. Not the best, but still good. These changes made her not only stronger, but also more fun to play and a little harder to manage. I will try to review that rework and give you some hints on how to use her potential. So sit back, relax and enjoy. First of all, her core mechanic received some changes. Dark Shard's generation cooldown was reduced to 5 seconds and the maximum number of stored shards increased to 5. In addition to that, all skills gained an ability to generate additional 1 Dark Shard if these aren't using the shards effect or there are insufficient shards to use. Implosion was buffed, attack speed and range was increased. Fragment use perk was changed from increased range to movement distance increase effect. So now using one shard will add some mobility to that skill. Phantom Crush received fragment use perk that allows you to repeat that skill twice with increased movement distance with cost of two dark shards. The downside of it immunities on second jump won't apply in Arena. Dark Shift also received similar Fragment Use perk that allows you to repeat that skill twice with cost of two Dark Shards, but the invulnerability of second jump won't apply in Arena. Also, Movement Distance was increased and added a combo effect that allows the instantaneous use of Doom Vortex. Doom Vortex also received a great buff, increased attack range but the level 4 attack range perk was changed to a fragment use perk that increases Doom Vortex damage by 30%, consuming 3 Dark Shards. At last the buff, Matter Absorption, received the ability to restore 5 Dark Shards upon use. The rework looks solid, it didn't change much Raven's concept, but the gameplay on her became even more dynamic and fun. On the other side, harder, since you have to keep always an eye on your dark shards and get used to the right rotations. She didn't become top 1 in arena, but surely gained wider outplay kit. The Doom Vortex instant cast and 30% damage increase makes Raven even more frightening adversary. To really understand her rotation on arena, you have to practice her a lot, as she doesn't have a solid rotation, but I will try to find out 1-2 good combinations when that rework will be released on global. For open field, I decided to test her rotations on Yuraka, and it worked quite well. That rotation with deactivated Dark Shard perks on Implosion, Flashbang and Soul Siphon allows you to maximize the damage output from Doom Vortex by triggering its 30% bonus damage every time it's off cooldown, while keeping the mobility and immunity from both Phantom Crush and Dark Shift Blinks. You could activate the Flashbang perk too for the extra 6th damage buff, but with it you would need to be even more careful on the rotations and in some cases may lose the 30% bonus damage from Doom Vortex. And that was it for that Raven rework review. To finish the video I'll leave you with some arena matches in Korea. Thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. That was Mitty, have a nice day! Got me falling in more times than I can get out.
And do you see you got me falling in More times than I can get out